Shabbat Shalom, and I'm so glad you've found us and joined us this fine Shabbat morning. And you are here for an adventure in the scriptures, and we of course have the Torah on board, and this is our vessel of righteousness, which we have put out on the water, of course, before the Shabbat has started. And the previous night, I stayed in my little vessel of Yahweh, right there, because this is designed to be a bug out boat. It also functions as a bed. It has a full tent. And when I pass from this earth, I shall be forever interned in there until the resurrection. So, my friends, I am so glad that you have joined us. Let's put this right up here. That's very good. And let's give a cast off. Yeah, call the ducks. And we're about ready to go. So, this is the adventures of Advance Kingdom, and I'm Mr. Vance, and we go on our adventures. This is a Shabbat, and Shalom, so we do no ordinary work. I do not put a line in to fish. Okay, that's a, enough uh, manual. So, we can't go very deep because it's really shallow right here. So, until we get out, this is my campsite. We're just outside of Clarkston, Washington. And as you can see behind me, that would be the, the Red Wolf Bridge going down to Hawaii, which we were at just a few weeks ago at that campground. We're gonna be looking at the scriptures today. We're gonna be doing some root word studies into scriptures that are very familiar to us, yet we really, from the Hebraic point of view, do not quite understand them. So, we are going to be looking at those scriptures that I've lined out, and so we're not going in circles. We're going to be looking at the original words, what those root words were, and how they were transliterated, and what they mean, and what they don't mean, what our fluffy understanding of this intangible language that's so ancient. So we're going to be looking into that. Now, let's do this. Boop. We always carry our scriptures here. And we're going to pull up our Torah because after all that's the reason that we're here. So, binoculars, we're in good shape, and let us uh, continue. I uh, ask that you get your scriptures out. Baruch Hu et Yahweh HaMevorak Baruch et Yahweh HaMevorak Lelam Vaed Baruch Hatai Yahweh Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bekar Benu Mekoh HaAmim Venatan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Hatai Yahweh Noten HaTorah Blessed are you, O Yahweh, Elohim, Maker 
of heaven and earth, Eretz and Shamayim. Blessed is your name, and thank you for giving us your commandments that are to be heard and to be obeyed. Now we've got a little bit of wind. Let's see if we can drop this down. There we go. So we're getting buffeted uh, by the waves uh, a little bit, but we're in good shape. Excuse me a second while I turn this part around. Very good. Okay. So, what I'd like to do, let's turn to First Yochanan, because it is always so pertinent. So, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with Elohim, and the Word was Elohim. He, he, was in the beginning with Elohim, and all came to be through him, and without him not even one came to be that came to be. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from Elohim whose name was Yochanan. So we got some rough water. Hang on. Woo! And this one comes for a witness to bear witness of the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but that he might bear witness to the light. He was the true light which enlightens every man coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came to be through him and the world did not even know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the authority to become the children of Elohim, to those believing in his name who were born, not of blood, of the desire of flesh, nor the desire of men, but of Elohim. And the Word became flesh and pitched His tent among us, and we saw His esteem, the esteem as only the only brought forth of a father, complete in favor and in truth. Yochanan bore witness of him and cried out, saying, This is he of whom I said, He who comes after me has become before me, because he has come before me. And out of his completeness, we all did receive and favor upon favor. For the Torah was given through Moshe and favor, and the truth came through Yahshua, our Messiah. No one has ever seen Elohim, the only brought forth Son, who is in the bosom of the Father. He did declare. Now this is the witness of Yohanan. When the Yehudim sent for the Yerushalayim,
Shalom and good morning. I wanted to show you folks something. Uh, come with me. I went on a little camp adventure right in the middle of town. Uh, don't tell anybody. This is where we stayed. So, let's see here. We'll put this... And, here, you're going to have to scoot over. There's not a lot of room there. Okay, that's good. Oops. Did you bump your head? Oh, yeah. it's it. Now, if you have a tendency to have flatulence, this is not the style of boat or tent that you want. So, we've got the little motor right here, and that goes back, and we've got the inflatable there, and we got sleeping bag, fishing gear, seat, of course the lantern. We have over here, of course, the Torah box. And under it, we've got more tents and whatnots and so on. And right here, of course, we've got the galley. Now let's go ahead and pull that out and see what we've got left to eat. So, some of the things that we eat on a little bug out adventure that we don't have to cook since we're in town, we're not really able to cook very well. So, water, very important. Now, unfortunately, the, the water that we drink anymore, it says it comes from, from uh, a, a little place called Ontario, California. Uh, we like to get our water in uh, great concentrations of fluoride but at least you can't taste the chlorine a uh, pretty sad state of events where they are in uh, in a time of great famine for water and they send it out they get fined for using it too much in this this time of drought and yet the Nestle corporations and the powers that be can sell the water. So here in my neck of the woods, we have all kinds of water. We are not at flooding stage by any means, but we do have so many dams up above us that one shaking of the earth, well, the water I figure could be halfway up that with the splash and Clarkston, Lewiston, back that way. So, some of the other foods. I like to take some kind of cereals. Chips, carrots. We like carrots and also I, I take a lot of cherries, fresh cherries. Oranges, I really like figs. Right now for the uh, counting of the 49 days of the Omer, I am on a vegetarian diet. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Hallelujah. So, and I also, of course, have to have my fiber one because that is what the uh, doctor recommended. So, last night we spent the night here in the, the Sukkuma boat. 
and we're gonna call call this vessel the the reunion because I am waiting for the reunion with my Messiah and uh, to be quite honest the the union that we have is a very dysfunctional one it's a dysfunctional union so I am waiting for the reunion with the true Mashiach Yahweh HaMashiach Baruch Hashem